Hello everyone and today see how the information bulletin has changed the scenario like previously 300 questions were asked in which 210 minutes you have to solve them so roughly 42 seconds for a single MCQ you get to solve these uh, 300 MCQs now what they have done they have reduced uh, that by uh, 100 MCQs now I have reduced by 100 MCQs now 200 MCQs in 210 minutes so 63 seconds over a minute for a single MCQ so this is a hint of understand the hint of they have given the hint that they are changing the pattern of the exam very much this time as compared to the previous patterns so the more time has been allotted what does it mean so more lengthy clinical questions previously what happened at um, 2020 they asked some lengthy questions and the time was less so the students were not able to attempt the whole exam and many of the complaints have been uh, there that they are not able to complete the or read the whole questions at all because lengthy questions were there clinical questions were there and the time allotted was less now this year they have reduced the questions so more time more lengthy clinical questions more gif video and image based questions will be included for the, no doubt in this so you have to prepare accordingly now how to do the change how to deal with this change what to do now so i will suggest the focus on the subjects uh, which are easy from which the easy one-liners have been taken and not much clinical questions are framed. So you can solve them quickly and save more time for that uh, clinical questions. Uh, so first prof and uh, second prof subjects like uh, the anatomy and physiology, biochemistry, pathology. So these uh, and these uh, mostly the one-liners and uh, not that much typical clinical questions are framed from these. So you can revise them more. You can. Uh, Try to score maximum marks in these subjects that will boost your ranks so that uh, because in these kind of questions you are sure, sure about the answer because the answer is this and you are sure that yes I have done it right. In the clinical questions uh, you are not sure that you have done it right or not because you don't know the perfect answer. You just deal with that sign and symptoms and just take accordingly that what you think is might be the diagnosis. So this is why I am saying that focus on the subjects which are not that clinical based revise more also this time a new thing they have changed the time exam time has been changed so it will be starting from 2 pm to an ending at 5 30 pm so uh, this is a little change in that uh, schedule thing so what you can do uh, you can change your uh, gt timing according to this time now new time you should now you should be starting your grand test in the afternoon at 2 pm and you should end it by 5 30 pm so you will be able to uh, be adapting the new pattern and at the exam time your brain will be more active at the same time of the exam so follow the steps and score better all the best